So good morning students. I am Logesh from CSA department. The topic that we are going to discuss is about from the software developer practices. So let's be move on to the class. So that will be the topic that we are going to discuss about the general principles of software engineering. So in the earlier classes we have discussed like what is mean by software and what are what is mean by software engineering. So and then the next topic is that how to what are the good practices when we are going to as a developer when we are going to develop a software what are the good practices that we are going to discuss the first and foremost simple is that the reason it all exists so which means if you are creating or if you are developing any product or an if you are going to add a new thing to that product if it does not add a new value to the system it has to be a purposeful in simple ways you can say it as it should be a purposeful if it is not a purpose don't do it simply ignore it so that is the risk for because it will um because it will avoid the resource allocation so that it uh, it will reduces the manual labor everything will be there so it tries to avoid uh, the things which is not relevant to the systems so please don't develop that so that is the first principle the second principle is that KISS that means keep it simple and stupid which means the design that we are going to propose is should be very very simple as much as possible it should not be complicated so that you couldn't be able to explain to the client. The third principle is that maintain the vision so vision is the long term goal okay so there should be a clear vision means so what is the purpose why we are going to uh, what is the basic context of creating this project everything has to be there so that is that, that is very very essential for creating the project and then the fourth principle is that what you produce others will consume so like the the product that we are going to produce it should be and helpful to others so it should not be a burden to others it should not be an uh, disturbance to others the product that we are going to develop should be an helpful to others second one the fifth principle is that be open to the future which means the product should adapt to the new technologies it should not be lag out so it has to adapt to the new technologies which current current technologies are what we are writing what we are using right now and second the sixth principle is very very important one that means plan ahead of reuse so reuse is very very important why because we should not uh, we should not uh, misuse the resources because it has to reduce the cost and increases the value of both the product and the components. Third, seventh principle is the very most important which should be think like think before you act. So um, whatever the things which are in your mind uh, you have to think whether it is possible to implement those things and all. Okay. Thank you.